Tyndall was also a scientist. So he understood that whilst there's an aesthetic beauty to nature, there's a, a deeper beauty, a beauty that lies below the surface, the beauty in understanding how and why things happen. So Tyndall set out to understand the origin of those magnificent colours. To do that, Tyndall designed an experiment that he hoped would provide the answers. They see a tank full of water, and into that water, I'm just going to put a few drops of milk. Now that basically just introduces some particles into the liquid. Now what Tyndall then did was shine a white light into the tank. And you immediately see that the tank lights up with different colours. Tyndall loved this in his typically poetic fashion. He described it as sky in a box. You see that at this side of the tank, then the solution is blue. And as you move through the tank, then it becomes more and more yellow. And actually towards this end, it's even beginning to become orange. So this is the alpine sky in a box. And Tyndall had an explanation for why this happens. So there's the tank. And here's a source of white light, which as Tyndall well knew, is made up of all the colours of the rainbow. Now, what Tyndall proposed is that the blue light has a higher probability of bouncing around, a scattering of the particles of milk in the water. We now know that this is because blue light has a shorter wavelength than the other colours of visible light, making it more likely to scatter. So that means that the blue light will be the first to scatter and get dispersed throughout the liquid. And so the first piece of the tank will look blue. This is essentially what happens in the sky. Instead of droplets of milk, Tyndall believed that blue light from the sun was more likely to scatter off particles of dust and water floating in the atmosphere and so colour the sky blue. But the tank also explains the sunset colours. As the light penetrates deeper into the milky water, eventually all of the shorter wavelengths of blue light are scattered away, leaving just the longer wavelengths of orange and red. So the water looks progressively more orange, and if the tank were long enough, red. So too, the sky. As the sun gets lower, its light has to travel through more atmosphere, so the shorter blue wavelengths scatter away completely, leaving just the orange and red light, making the sky appear red at sunset. Now, Tyndall's explanation was right in principle, but wrong in detail. See, Tyndall thought that the light was scattering off particles of dust in the air. In fact, it isn't. It's scattering off the air molecules themselves, but Tyndall couldn't have known that because the existence of molecules wasn't known at the time. <laughs> 